Michael came up with the idea of being extremely French and uh, we got the influence from the movie Mon Oncle and most of the look you're going to see with the hat are coming from um, this uh, movie inspiration. So of course it's a city boy, but he's well groomed. Um, the idea for this, we stay fully dry on the hair, very tight and blow dries. Um, not overdone with product, just light, light, light product. And we moved up with um, a version of that gentleman who could be more like a gigolo. We use a little bit of that feeling for that specific. But it was very important to do like this kind of light base, you know, very light. You can feel the skin in a way. It just makes this kind of idea of cocteau, you know, uh, but in a way the new cocteau feeling. And what's mean about that is like uh, this kind of like, you know, when you have like, like sunlight on the top of you and you have this kind of shadow make here, a tiny shadow and make the eyes quite deeper with something happening. But you don't see really his makeup. It's more something happening on the eyes and it's quite like, straight but he keep like légèreté of the face of the guy he keeps the man like a man we are so lucky to have alice smith perform at our show um she is a relatively new performer uh she is she's just incredible I discovered Alice on iTunes and I, I listened to it and I'm like, wow, this woman's incredible and like downloaded all of her songs and they happened to be playing when our producer, Stefan, came to visit us. And he's like, wow, that's Alice. I, I'm friends with her. I work with her. One thing led to another. She came to New York one day. We had lunch and we had this idea and she's always into it. The Red Balloon is so poetic, so sweet, so incredible. I first saw that movie, I think when I was in third grade, they showed it in our school. And I hadn't seen it in, in ages. And then uh, back in, I think, February, March, I was in bed with the flu and uh, I was watching old movies. And that, that movie popped up and I watched it. And that kind of led me to watch all these other old French movies. And I kind of just fell into this French moment in a way and um, you know we kind of started with a red balloon and ended up all the way with the dreamers you can't have a whole collection around one little boy and his balloon that follows him around because all he wears is like gray so it, it just kind of snowballed into this idea of French guys and French guys style and you know we work with a ton of French guys and we have a bunch of French friends so you know that's what it was and also we wanted to make it feel kind of joyous and happy We had business guys, we had guys that referenced Jacques Tati, that wonderful French actor from the 50s, 60s. We had gigolos in there. We even have a new model of shirt called the gigolo shirt. Um, so, you know, from schoolboy to gigolo, that's a lot of ground to cover it with 28 looks. We're wearing some fantastic pineapple print, Stubbs and Wooten, Michael Bastion collaboration slippers. Some sweatshorts by Michael with his trademark little boxers showing under. And then um, the little cardigan, so like, you know, post gym maybe, I hang out uh, hang out by the river. You know, hey, I ripped the brand, he's, he's the best. We had cherries in there and bananas and we saw that fabric. And, and kind of the, the, the rule with picking fabric this season was if it made us smile or made us laugh or we could make a joke out of it, it was in the collection. And there's a lot of things that 
weren't apparent that, that like all the linings of the jackets are some crazy print and there's little messages hidden under collars and little surprises all over the place. We really had a fun time with this one. super cool dude and so is his team and because of them I've been able to uh, learn a lot about menswear, learn a lot about how patterns are involved, the quality of stuff, they use only the best fabrics and it's upgraded my wardrobe exponentially. It was kind of a great exercise for us to see how many patterns can we cram in one look. You know, it was it became like a, like a game and uh, then you step back and you're like, wow, this actually looks really good. You know, you always exaggerate for shows, but it, I, I'm really proud with how it came out. And, and styling is actually a surprise in a weird way because we design the collection and we're not conceiving looks when we design. And, you know, when it comes time to do show looks, we sit in a room, we have all these racks in front of us, and we just say, okay, start, start putting stuff on. And, you know, this is what comes out. And it's, sometimes I'm as surprised as anyone sitting in that room.